Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. What in the world are you up to now? This weekend, we had a major malfunction. Been a week for it. The spring on my recliner snapped. It's supposed to be a loop on both ends, just exactly the same. Now, well, this loop snapped right off. Nothing left of it. So I'm going to have to bend a new loop in the end of this thing. Now how do I go about that? Well, we're going to see. Not every spring acts exactly the same. Some of them let you do things that you can't do on others. Let's hope this is one of the ones that lets me put a new loop on the spring. One of the things I'm trying to do is not put a nick in the spring. Because uh, if you put a nick in it, it makes a stress riser and causes a fracture point. If I can cause this thing to kink in the way that I want it to, I might just be able to make this work. Well, I got a handle. Let's see if I can grab a hold of that handle and pull this thing up. Well, success. I got a loop pulled up. I did make some nicks in that spring, so I've shortened the life of the spring. Maybe I can polish those out a little bit. The other thing I need to do now is to cut this loop of the spring off. And for that, I think I'm going to use a Dremel tool.
Now I'm going to dress that down a little bit. Player marks. Now you might look at this and go, what the heck is that? Well, I'll show you. It's a spring dampener. Otherwise, every time this spring comes out, it goes grrrr. So this makes it so the vibration every time you flip out the footrest on my recliner doesn't make that horrible noise. Now I just gotta go put it on. See if I got this thing fixed. Cause I'm really tired of having to manually crank the footrest out. See this spring? There's supposed to be one over here. I need to hook this one down into that little bracket right there. Then pull it up and engage it onto this. Just like that. Now how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to have to get some tools. To connect that spring, I needed a handle. So I went out in the garage and got my old spring puller. All it is is just a piece of steel rod with a hook on the end of it that I forged in the coal forge. I made a hook in it, ground it down a bit so it would fit. This is for the old, uh, my original Toro lawnmower. It had a variable speed belt drive, just like the new one does. and. The only way to get the belt off was to take the spring loose. So I ended up making this thing because the spring was back inside the frame about you know, 8-10 inches from the back and I had to reach in, grab a hold of it, 
and pull it with both hands because it was a real monster of a spring. Pull it up and then take it off of the hooks that it was on, put the belt on, then hook the spring back up. I've used this a bunch of times since then. We're going to use it on this chair. I'll hook this bottom loop in, then I'll take a hold of the spring and pull it up. That's quite the spring on there. I guess I'm going to have to send out the footrest to get the distance a little shorter. There. That's the way it's supposed to work. Good girl, Sadie. Sadie wants her bone. She went outside, she came back in, she wants a bone. <laughs> if you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Okay, Sadie, let's go get your bone. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.